Hello everyone. Welcome to Amazon Subtip Webcast. This is the seventh part of this ongoing video series on how to set up two-tier public key infrastructure using Windows Server 2019. In this video, we are going to see the steps to enable key archival for a Windows Server 2019 Enterprise Subordinate Certification Authority. Remember, this is a test environment created in VirtualBox, so you can have an idea about the configuration steps. For this demo, we have two Windows Server 2019 virtual machine. This is our domain controller with the host name ws2k19-dc01.mylab.local. We have a single domain active directory forest mylab.local, and this is the root domain controller for mylab.local domain. This is our member server with the host name mylab issuing sub. This server is also part of our active directory domain mylab.local. Until now, on this server, we have installed and configured Enterprise Subordinate Certificate Authority with a CA Web Environment Service and Online Responder Rule Service. So now we want to enable key archival on our local CA. Anyone who has already worked within a PKI knows how important a key recovery agent is. This agent is responsible for certificate key recovery. In this video. We will first look at the steps to create a key recovery agent. Then we will prepare for the key archival. In this demo, we are going to configure our domain admin user account for key recovery agent. If you want, you can create a separate user account for this task. But I want to keep it short and simple. So for this demo, we'll use administrator user account. In the first step, we need to open certification authority console. So on Server Manager Console, let's click on Tools and select Certification Authority. Because first we need to issue Key Recovery Agent Certificate Template to our CA, so CA can issue based on request. Let's maximize this console. Let's click and expand our CA name, and let's click on Certificate Templates. From this console, you can verify that we don't have Key Recovery Agent Certificate Template available to our local CA. So let's right-click on Certificate Templates and select Manage. That is going to open Certificate Template Management Console. First, we need to find out Key Recovery Agent, and this is the version two certificate, so we can modify properties as per our requirement. If you want, you can create a duplicate template as well. But for this demo, we are not going to do that. Let's modify the properties of this certificate templates. Now, the first thing which I'm going to do is let's click on Cryptography tab. Here, I want to change the minimum key size, and I want to set it to 4096. Now, I'm going to click on a security tab. You can see total three entries are added. Authenticated users have a permission to read. Domain admins has a permission to read, write, and enroll. And enterprise admin has a permission read, write, and enroll. See, for this demo, we are using our administrator account for this task. And that account is already part of domain admins group as well as enterprise admin groups. So we don't have to add that user account here, and we don't have to specify the permission. But suppose if you are using separate user account for key recovery agent task, that time you need to add that user account here, and then you have to define the permission read, write, and enroll. Fine. Once you do that, you need to click on Apply and OK button. Let's close. Certification Template Management Console, and now let's go back to our Certification Authority Console. Here, first we need to click on Certificate Templates. Let's right-click here, click on New, and select Certificate Template to issue. Because we need to issue that certificate which we have modified recently, that is Key Recovery Agent. From this console, we need to select the certificate template. In our case, it is Key Recovery Agent. Let's click on OK. And fine. Now we have that certificate template in our local CA key recovery agent. And based on request, now our CA can issue that certificate using the certificate template. So in the next step, we need to request for key recovery agent certificate, and we are using our administrator account to do that. So let's open MMC console first. Press Windows R key, and at a run menu, type MMC and press Enter key. On MMC console, click on File, select Add and Remove Snappings, click on Certificates, click on Add. We are going with User Account, click on Finish, and click on OK. 
let's expand certificates expand personals and here we see we don't have any certificate for our admin user account so let's request for a new key recovery agent certificate to do that we need to right click here click on all task and click on request new certificate click on next on this wizard next again when we are asked for a certificate template we need to select key recovery agent once you select it we need to click on this enroll button note that it didn't issue the certificate the status is enrollment pending to approve the certificate request you have to go to the certification authority management console and from there from pending request you need to manually approve this certificate so let's click on finish button and here you can see we don't have any certificate yet on our personal store let's go back to our certification management console let's click on pending request and here you can verify that request is there fine this request is sent by mylabs/administrator one more thing which we want to verify is certificate template you can see certificate template is key recovery agent so based on the request based on a certificate template you can verify that this request has been made by our administrator fine now let's manually approve this request let's select the request number 7 right click on it all task and click on issue fine if you click on issue certificates here we can verify that certificate has been successfully issued to our mylabs last administrator but one problem is there if you go back to the management console and if you right click here select refresh still we are not able to see any certificate yet fine we will fix this later on but right now i'm going to enable key archival on our certification authority so let's go back to our certification management console select ca right click on it and go for the properties click on recovery agent step select i have the key and here you can see number of recovery agent to be used one is specified if you want more than one that time you need to change this value now let's click on add to add key recovery agent certificates here we can see key recovery agent selection certificate is there for administrator at mylab.local but we want to see the properties of that certificate so to do that we need to click on this link here we have a certificate key recovery agent and this certificate is issued to administrator and issued by our local enterprise subordinate certificate authority but before we select that certificate i want to install this certificate manually inside our personal certificate store for this user account okay let's minimize it where is that console fine let's click on install button for current user click on next and manually i want to store under personal certificate store so select personal click on okay click on next and click on finish wait for a few seconds then after you will receive a message that import was successful fine here we can see the message is there the import was successful let's click on okay let's click on okay button again and let's select the certificate which we want to add as a recovery agent let's click on okay fine we have successfully added that certificate under key recovery agent certificates but one problem is there here under status you can verify that it is indicating not loaded because still we need to click on apply button to save these changes and once you click on apply button it is going to ask you to restart adcs service and then after that status will be automatically converted into valid so let's click on apply button and click on yes to restart this adds service still you can see the status is not loaded let me click on this okay button let's again go back to ca management console right click on ca name go for the properties click on recovery agents and now you can see administrator certificate is there with the valid status fine let's click on okay one more thing which we have imported that key recovery agent certificate into local personal certificate store we want to verify the same thing as well so let's go back to mmc console right click here and select refresh and here we have a certificates if we double click on it here you can verify the same certificate is there key recovery agent which is issued to administrator by our local enterprise subordinate ca okay let's click on okay button 
So now we have successfully created our key recovery agent certificate template, issue it to our key recovery agent and configured our local CA to use a key recovery agent certificate. But we are not protected against key loss just yet because the certificate templates that are issued out needs to have key archival enabled in the property of the certificate template. So let's do that as well. Let's go back to our certificate authority management console. Let's click on certificate templates. Now first I'm going to remove this existing user template. Let's right click here and select delete. Click on yes. And let's open certificate template management console by right clicking on certificate templates and selecting manage. Okay, here this time we're going to use basic EFS certificate template. So let's right click on it and select a duplicate template. Here under compatibility, this time I'm going to change the certification authority. I'm going to set it to Windows Server 2016 and I'm going to change the certificate recipient to Windows 10 or Server 2016. Fine. Now let's click on general. Here I'm going to specify new name. My lab basic EFS. Let's click on request handling. Here you can see key archival options is there which we want to select. So let's select this checkbox as well. Here it is giving us one message that there is no certification authority currently issuing certificate based on this template. Fine. Let's click on OK. But that checkbox should be there. Fine. You need to select this checkbox for archive subjects encryption private key. Okay. Let's click on cryptography. You want to set it to 4096 bit. Okay, let's click on subject name. Fine, here you can see that include email name and uh, email name options is not selected. Fine. Only UPN will be there in a subject name. Next, I'm going to click on a security tab. And here you can see authenticated users have a read permission, but we are interested for domain users. You can see domain users have enroll permission. I want to assign a read permission as well. Now let's click on apply and OK button. See, you can modify those settings as per your organization's requirement. Fine. So now we have our MyLab basic EFS certificate template ready with us. Now I'm going to close this console. And on our CA management console, let's right click on certificate templates. Click on new and select certificate template to issue. Here I'm going to select our certificate template with the name MyLab Basic EFS. Let's click on OK button. Fine. Now we have our certificate template ready to issue based on user request. Fine. Now let me click on issue certificates. I want to add one more column here for key archival. So let's click on view and select add and remove columns. From uh, available columns, I'm going to select archive key, click on add and we want at the uh, top of that list. Okay, fine. Let's click on OK button and here you can see that list, that column is empty because whatever certificates we have issued till now that doesn't have archive key. Okay, so to test this, we're going to request for that certificate template which we have created recently. Let's right click under uh, MMC console. This is the certificate store for our current user and that is the administrator. All task, request new certificate, click on next, next again and under request certificate, this time I'm going to select my lab basic EFS certificate template. Click on enroll. Fine. As you can see, status is succeeded. Let's click on finish and now we have our new certificate. Let's double click on it and here you can see the purpose allow data on disk to be encrypted. So we can use this certificate to encrypt our data on the system. This certificate is issued to administrator and issued by our local subordinate CA. Fine. Let's click on OK button. But we are more interested about key archival. So let's go back to our certification management console and let's right click here and select refresh. Now here you can see new certificate is there which is issued to mylabs less administrator and here you can verify the certificate template but here we are not able to see that name because we have modified that basic EFS certificate template. Now the important part is here. Here you can see we have a yes under archived key because we have enabled that settings 
in our certificate template to archive the key. Where it is? Let's double click on it. Let's click on request handling. Here you can see we have selected this checkbox archive subjects encryption private key. And we have successfully configured key archival on our local CA. That means now if user lost that certificate, we can use this certificate key recovery agent certificate to recover that lost private key or you can see lost certificate. So in the next video, we are going to see the steps that how we can use this key recovery agent certificate to recover lost private key or you can see if by mistake user has deleted his or her certificate then how we can recover that certificate using this key recovery agent but for that on that certificate key archival must be enabled fine so that concludes our video demonstration on how to enable key archival for a certification authority that's it for this video thank you all for watching this video